you back with Doug to talk about how we started dating. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I met Doug on an online dating site over a decade after my accident. Mm -hmm. That's right. But people who don't know us are sometimes surprised that we started dating while Tasha was in a wheelchair. They think that we must be high school sweethearts or that I knew her before her accident or that her accident happened after we were together. But the truth is, I met Tasha exactly as she is now, and I fell in love with her exactly as she is now. It still surprises me when people say things like, wow, Doug is such a special guy, as if he married down by choosing me. I love how you said that. <laughs> Actually, I'm the lucky one here. I like to say I'm blessed. I definitely married up. Mm, well, I am lucky too. But the difference is, is that we both are special and we're both lucky, of course, Doug said, mm -hmm. blessed. Doug sees my value and my worth and I see his. We're equal partners in our marriage and we chose each other. There's so much emphasis in this world on physical attractiveness and being able-bodied. Mm -hmm. Even as, a society, as our society has become more inclusive and diverse, there's still a stigma about couples like us where one person is able-bodied and one person has a disability. Right, I mean, come on, look at her. She is gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> but people look straight at her chair oftentimes. They don't see her and her heart and her spirit and her mind. These are the reasons why I married her. As I told her from the beginning of our relationship, this chair is just a mode of transportation, a way of getting around. It's not a big deal and it's not a part of who she, it's just a part of who she is actually. Yes, and I know that Doug sees me as a whole person. I have my faults and challenges, mm -hmm. And so does he. The fact that I have a disability doesn't change how we feel about each other. Now, when we first got together, I actually would get offended if we were out walking and an adult stared at her and gave us weird looks. Uh, I always thought, what are you looking at? Why are you looking at her like she's from <laughs> Jupiter? Well, I was pretty used mm. to it by then. We met 15 years after my accident, so I had plenty of time mm -hmm. to get used to getting weird looks or having kids come up to me in public and ask me strange questions. Kids are kind of cute, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, we've gotten more used to it, just kids and also adults. Yeah, but from our perspective as a couple, we think it's really great that we get to showcase the love that develops between mm -hmm. two people who are meant to be together regardless of ability or difference. That's right. Actually, before we even met in person, I saw Tasha's profile and I absolutely loved it. She disclosed right on there that she had an accident, she was in a wheelchair, and that she loved her life. I really appreciated the honesty that she had, and uh, I just knew that I had to meet her. And then when we started dating, I think I was really the one to pursue you, right? Yes. Remember right? Yes. It took me a while to really open up and trust that this relationship was going to be the one. People had said some hurtful things to me, or they would say that Doug had an ulterior motive for dating me. Mm. And I actually did a blog recently about rejection. So if you want to hear more about it, how I've learned to move past that in my life, mm -hmm. I encourage you to check it out. Of course, we do have challenges. You know, we don't want to come out here and make it seem like our marriage is 100% perfect. <laughs> That's right. We're definitely not perfect, but we both strive every single day to be the best spouse we possibly can for each other. Mm -hmm. We don't view our relationship as transactional. Like we have to do things for each other. We just try to be the best person possible for each other. Uh, you know, honey, I think you summed that up really well. Well, thank you. That's all we have for this week, but come back next time to hear about another topic that many people want to know. Is Doug my caregiver? Hmm. And how does that work in our marriage? <laughs> You'll have to wait till next week. See you then.